2018, the site of a Penn State National Championship. Two weights left, 141 pounds. This is a great one. The only finals matchup between undefeated wrestlers. They've met once before when Real Woods was at Stanford. He won 5-4 the Southern Scuffle back in 2021. Real Woods, a first-time finalist, and Andrew Alirez is the first Northern Colorado finalist since Neil Armstrong took the first steps on the moon. So it has been a while for this squad from Greeley. That was the Beatles and Abbey Road, and he's trying to be their third NCAA champion. They haven't had one since 1962. The Hawkeyes with representation here from a former Stanford Cardinal, and Andrew Alirez, who made the choice to stay home, the Greeley native, surrounded by family there, and making the most of it here tonight. And what a story he's been for that Northern Colorado program here. Troy Nickerson doing a fine job here, keeping a lot of the in-state talent there. And they've had a good tournament. They're not going to get a lot of qualifiers. They don't have a full complement of scholarships, but uh, there is, the bench was a big motivator. We've seen that in sports quite a bit. You know, the bench becomes a good motivator. Alirus had to watch this. He went, what, one and two last year. Didn't have a great tournament. Real Woods. A lot of experience, wins tight matches, really good in the top position. What I love about Woods is just his, uh, his poise, his confidence. He's got a certain swagger about him, this quiet confidence. And he really tries hard to get that first takedown. He's like a dog on the bone early in the match because he knows he's so good on top that all it takes is one takedown and then he can ride and get a turn. Yeah, it almost looks like when he goes out there, he pounds on the mat right there. Just pounds on the mat, makes a big move, gets his opponent reacting and just hits another shot right off of that. And he's put up points. Real Woods in the black singlet for Iowa. Three major decisions and route to the finals, outscoring the opposition 40 to 7 and extending the Hawkeyes streak. A finalist in 33 straight NCAA championships for Iowa and 47 of the last 48 going back to 1976. The other thing you see with Woods, you don't see him get pushed off very much. When he's on the edge of the mat here, out of third, holding leads, rarely goes off. It's gonna be a head hands defense here for a while. Looks like the Lears has a little control position there. Woods looking for a stalemate. Committed shot right there by Woods, fought off pretty well by Alvarez. Great hips, great hips right there by Alvarez, man. What a great job he did defending that single leg. Typically when Woods gets his hands locked, yeah. that man can build up and finish that takedown. Alvarez purposely working from space here. Both guys hanging out there in the center. Seen Woods' hands hit the mat, what, maybe 15 times so far, yeah. dropping his level. Yep, and he's trying to get Alirius to react on those fakes. Every time that he drops down, he gives that mat touch. It's to get Alirius uncomfortable. Alirius has a very good sweep single to the right leg. But what you're seeing with Real Woods, he's keeping that right leg back. And it seems like Alirius can't get to the shot that he normally gets to. That's a good point, Rock. Because sometimes you're just looking for a vision. And if you throw that vision off, disguise your lead leg a little bit and get the guy off balance. And that's why Alirius has spent most of his time from space. Now, good little front headlock position here, short time. Four, three, two, one, time. End of the first, scoreless. Alirez lost in the blood round last year, which was his third year qualifying for the NCAAs. 2021, he was an at-large, had to withdraw due to injury. 2020, no NCAA championships. Here we go to the second, Alirez bottom. This is when you have to remind yourself that there's only four minutes left in your entire season. It's the second period. You can do anything for four minutes. These guys have grinded for thousands of hours to get to this point. You've got to get big and get to the positions where you feel comfortable and go and get points. Lear's doing a nice job of keeping the pockets. Goes nice little trap guard. Looking for that right tilt, there. coach. He's looking for that tilt. Almost got it. Lear's one of those really Explosive guys there. He's got a head lever breakdown right there. Has the wrist tied that right wrist up. Got him spread out pretty well. 
Woods is such a beast on top, man. Just look at how he controls the wrist. He's got a tight grip. He's got that strong head lever, deep, tight waist with that left hand. Aliris is having a hard time building off of his belly. Doing a nice job trying to get his wrist back, though. We see how he's locking his hands just to kind of jam that hand forward here. He's got the wrist free, but now he's all spread out. Now, can he collect himself without giving up the wrist? Well, most guys in this position, Coach, can just ride to ride. Woods is one of the few dangerous guys that can ride to turn. You know if you get out of position, you're in trouble and those swipes are coming. Yeah, when you bring your hips up too hard, he's got that tight waist ride. He goes right into the tilt. Stall warning on Alirez. Yeah, you see right there, he went to go ahead and peel the hands off, and then the trap was set right there. Nice little changeover move, but this is a beautiful There he goes tool. again. There he goes again, right to that tilt. We've got one count. We've got two. We've got two. Now a double oh, situation. Oh, oh. And we've got a reversal. And we're getting counts here. We're getting swipes here. We're getting swipes here. Woods just trying to push his way out of the circle. Alirez makes his move here late in the second. Beautiful double overs with the leg lace. So we got two back points for Woods, then we've got a reversal and four back points for Alirez. What a sequence. They're probably gonna have to go sort some things out here. Yeah, double overs right there with the leg lace. He takes him to his back, you see the count? Those are the things that you cannot account for. That double over to that throw was incredible. Now, see the, that bottom leg lace right there coming through. And I tell you what, it was even a little bit late on the swipes because I think he almost got the three. So two. it looks like it was good. We got two near fall. Yeah. So it's two reversal oh. and two near fall. So it should be four to two. It was zero, zero. And then it looks like there was a near fall for real woods. And then it was two near fall there. Oh, boy. Troy Nickerson, the head coach of Northern Colorado, oh, throwing fall. the brick, looking yeah. for four, four. near fall. And I tell you what, he, he may have a case here because I think that, that Angel was a little bit late on that uh, that first count. The official got there, he had three swipes, and then he stopped, so that was two. The question is, was four there? Right. So we have to look for control. No control yet. Real was still in control. The inside trip over and under. Is control yet? No control yet. There's the control, one. Two, but he'd already three. been on his back for a second or two. Well, that's four. Put, yeah, that's got to be four. four. He had to put the fingers up first, then you can count. He may have been there, but the control has to be established first. All right, let's watch. Rock, you tell us when he has control, and then we'll continue to count from there. So over and under, inside trip, nothing yet. Two right there. One. One, two, two three. That's close. That's close. It all depends upon when the official put up the two. Once the two is established, then he can start the count. Man, coach, half a second stands between <laughs> two points here yeah. and a potentially a three-point lead. This could change the dynamic of the match here. So what they're looking at right now, there's three Hall of Fame officials and one current college coach. They have more angles than we do. They have about six cameras to look at. Rock, does it matter that he challenged for four and not three? No. No. He can challenge for four, because if he doesn't get the four, it's still two. And so the a third swipe still reverts to two points. Four would be the four for Alirez. No control. There's what? the control one. Two. Three. Remember, no, 45 yeah. degrees. So he put his hand down. Watch yeah, how Angel he, puts his hand down in order to scoot over and scoot away from the action, and that prevents him from going for swipe. Great if call. We a, if Great. we can get a look at the referee watch, he yeah. goes one, one two, right, so he goes two, one, two, two. and then the watch hand. three, three, and then he puts his hand down yes. to move out of the way of the action, and that prevents him from going for swipe. Yeah, but I believe that was four swipes there. Yeah, the look, it's just, his technique was a little bit in question here. We got to see that again. Watch the watch. right hand. One, two, two, two three. three. Now watch, he puts his hand down. That's fine. And holds it. He can adjust. He can adjust his body. But that was the but four. Did, but did the, the position four. change, Rock? No, he was getting a better look. So at that point, he put his hand down to adjust. But he nothing changed with the shoulders. But how could he adjust while still counting? 
Yeah. So I think that putting his hand down momentarily prevented him from going for another swipe, which would have been the fourth. It took about the same amount of time as a swipe when he posted his hand. So that's the decision. This is a tough bat. one. Challenge brick thrown by Troy Nickerson, the head coach of Northern Colorado, on your left. We have our analysis from our rules analyst, Rock Harrison, the former NCAA wrestler and official. Jordan Burroughs, Jim Gibbons, Quinn Kesnick, Mike Cousins along with you. The question that they're looking at is was the control established earlier than when Angel than when Angel put up the two? I think if, he did a good job of that. If right. the control was established before then, then yes, there could be four. But once the two fingers goes up, that's when he says control is established. And I agree with the champ here. When he posted his hand on the mat, that almost looked the equivalent of a swipe. And that's good, Rock, because I believe when he stepped over is when they officially gave Alir as control. And it looked like it was a position where Woods was trying to fight his hips up to prevent going to his back, and then all of a sudden he started turning the opposite way to get off of his back. And so you knew at that point that then they were going to go to swipes. That's always something you look at. Once a person starts to fight to get off their back, that's when they relinquish control. So at that point, that's when you say, yes, he's now fighting off his back, now I can wave. If he's still trying to get the control, then that would not be that, but I believe. But, but mo what's more than important is the technique of the official. That's what we're questioning here. He said it's a three count, and then he posted his hand. It took about the same amount of time as an extra swipe. The question is, Rocky, I, do you believe that Alir has lost control or there should have been a fourth swipe if the position of the official were not adjusted? No, I believe I believe that Alir is, at that point, you have to wait just a little bit to make sure that control is established. So here, when do we have control? Right here. Still fighting. Right there. there. One, two, two, three. Look how long Look, that yeah, swipe was. That, and that, that was a very long third swipe. swipe. Because yes. he thought he broke 45 again. So at that uh, point, he may say, well, did he adjust? No, I think it's more technical. Yep. Okay. But I'm a coach. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're also a parent. Yeah. That's the, if you don't come here in three, two, two. the seconds become a lot longer. <laughs> have the clock working here for us. There's their fish. Yeah. And the other thing too is that why are you sliding to the left as opposed to the right where the vision is on the 45 degree angle rock? Better vision. I I'm not sure why you slide a certain way. Some people just like to look from a different angle. Well, they're taking some time here. So you know this is a tough call. Not only the yeah. referees, but the guys up in the booth. I, 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 Q, I, I, on the other side of the mat where you are, this is the most we've watched anyone on the phone since a telethon. Is there anything that you can update us on? Five and a half minutes. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's we're, a we're at a five-minute review. The ideal, you want to be done in 90 seconds. Now, the decision may be me, but they may be looking at the clock. Where's the right clock? When's the riding time? But this is... If this, that, is, this is too long. If this that's too long. Rock, if that's the case, it's probably a four-point move, right? I want to turn this to Jordan as well. This, this review is almost going to be longer than the duration of the match. What's it like as these guys are just prowling around right now? Well, you're both hungry. You can see they're ready to get this started. They're like, listen, I don't care what you call. <laughs> just call <laughs> something. Yeah, we want to get this match started. The fans are getting on edge. The guys in the center want to get back to wrestling. It really doesn't matter what the call is as much. It yeah, would give a little breathing room to Alirez, but they want to get started. This is far too long, far too long. Now he can't hear. The crowd's too loud. He can't hear what's on the phone. This is, this is just, this is, this is too far. There we go. Here this we go. This is too long. This is too long. After further review, the call is reversed. Four near fall. There it is. Successful the break thrown by Northern right. Colorado. And that gives Alira some real breathing room. Yeah, let's go back to 24 okay. seconds left in the period. So a riding opportunity for Alira's huge sequence in this match right now. Beautiful turnout in the end. And both guys are fresh. It's like yeah. we're starting a brand new match here. Guys, let's go back to that position, all right? 
He's looking for a reversal, right? What a great time to go ahead and go with an upper body move from the down position where your risk reward is all in your favor. The double overs, the leg lace, coming back in there, it gets six points out of it, huge. And but that that's the time to do those things. Absolutely, and that inside trick position can be dicey because when both guys hit the mat on their hip, you're looking for who can find their position the fastest. And Aliris was able to come out on top and get four back points, giving him the lead going into the third period. Now he comes to that head lever position. He's head lever bar. too. He's got an arm bar here, coach. And he's got the wrist tied up here, so he should be able to break him down. Pops his hips in and brings him down to the mat. Lift, lift, wow, rise. that's a strong young nice man. Nice job. Great rapid mat return. Bringing his hips to the party there. Woods is trying to stay on. Look at Woods fighting himself back inside. Coach, I gotta tell you something. I've seen a lot of top guys in rear standing try to get the bottom guy out of bounds, but right. they're avoiding action there. I, be, I believe that that should be a stalling call. He's definitely lifting them out of bounds. One of these men will have their first loss of the season tonight. The other, his first national championship. Nice job of cutting back in, boy. That was worth looking at again. If you're a young wrestler trying to get out of hand control. Woods having to go ahead and get a little bit more penetration on the shots. Alouris fading away. These are great positions for him. Now he comes back into an ankle pick, stuffs the head with the front headlock. And if you're Alouris, you can't stop wrestling yet, coach. Yeah. Given that lead in the second period, it's easy to try to sit on it for the remainder of the match, but you've got to go get another one. You know how you can finish this guy and guarantee yourself a victory? Go get another takedown right now. Wow, good attempt there, lower level. Having a difficult time breaking through that underhook. Look how glued he is to that underhook position. Stuffing head. 35 seconds left. No stall warnings. Well, the very well, few are coming really soon, Coach. Because well, actually, Lirez is, is evading action. I believe there was a stall warning earlier in the down position on Lirez. Lirez that's yes. correct. Short time, 20 seconds. A takedown is the difference. Woods has got to keep shooting. He cannot dig underhooks if he wants to get Alirez hit for a stalling call. He's got to fire off attacks. He's got to push him around and really try some legitimate attempts here. Strong young man, though, handling the go-behind technique. Gets his foot off the mat. Just two seconds left. Wow. Andrew Alirez, an All-American for the first time this year, and Greeley's native son gives Northern Colorado first national champion since 1962 and the spike of the headgear incredible performance <laughs> big time guys do big time things in big moments and that's exactly what he did there you need a guy like him he was recruited by every single college throughout this country coming out of high school he was a blue chip five-star recruit everyone wanted him and he decided to stay at home and go to northern Carol Colorado and he proves that you can win anywhere if you've got the right mindset and the right staff you can win anywhere no doubt congratulations Troy Nickerson well they can take the team point for the headgear spike but they can never take away the championship for Andrew Alirez it was a long wait including the review in that match, let alone for the last year. Quinn? Give me a second to get, get your composure and your breath. Uh, close your eyes and take me back to that second period, the six-point move. What, what happened? What did you feel? Hey, let it fly. Been saying that all tournament. The guy who goes out there and gets it is the one who's going to win. I let it fly. I said earlier I'm willing to die out there. You're going to have to come take it from me. I'm going to give it everything I got. I don't even do stuff like that, but I'll throw <laughs> it out on the biggest stage. Why was that the time and place for it? That's, that's, that's what was there. That's all I had in a sense, and it was either now or never. Got one thing to say. G-Town, we up now, baby! <laughs> that's Greeley, correct? G-Town's Greeley? Why, why, why did you stay at home and go to Northern Colorado when you, you could have gone coast to coast, anywhere you wanted to? I believed in the program. I've been around that program since eighth grade. I've seen the levels we've jumped and the strides we continue to make. And I just believed in it. I knew Coach Troy could get me there. I knew the staff would get me there. Put all my faith into it. Did everything I possibly could for this moment. 
and now I got it. What was the difference between last year and this year now, getting your hand raised? Character. I've done every single thing right on and off the mat. I've gave my life to this game. I sacrificed everything I possibly could. And when it was time to meet the moment, I was prepared as anybody. Doing your homework, eating right, folding your laundry, all the little things. I was doing my dishes, doing my homework. I don't even like school like that, but I'm in the classroom every day doing my best just so it can make me a better wrestler. G-Town in the house. Let's go, baby, from day one. If you want to be a champ, stay down and be loyal. Congratulations, Andrew.